Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Learn This with Mahesh. So today we would like to see a comparison between uh, BigQuery and Cloud Big Table CVT. So first of all, I would like to share a small uh, caveat here. So it's completely based on my understanding. So people who look into it, so definitely will have some difference of opinion. So if you have some stuff, if you feel some correction is required, please do uh, let me know in the comment section. So happy to correct it. So before we get into the comparison, a quick shout out. Uh, I'm starting my uh, professional cloud architect uh, training, the customized one, which is uh, basically uh, batch 10. So we have finished successfully batch uh, 9, so a long back. So uh, if you're interested in knowing more details about it, you can basically drop me a mail at uh, lunjishwithmahesh at the rate gmail.com. So where you'll get the details about it. So the course is going to start from uh, 13th of May. So, and it's going to be roughly like a six months period because it's only on Saturdays and Sundays. The same thing, uh, if you are interested on uh, basically becoming a data engineer, so I also have a training on that, so which is a customized one, so which is batch three, so we finished batch two already, so uh, so this is going to be in the evening, so everything is going to be in the IST time, so morning one, it's going to be cloud architect, evening one is going to be data engineer, so if you are interested in any of the ones, so do drop me a mail, so happy to share more details on it. So with that, let's get into the comparison, so as I mentioned, this is completely based on my understanding, so first and foremost stuff, uh, both are going to be used for analytics purpose, that's some important thing which you need to keep in mind, so BigQuery is a data warehouse. Whereas big table CBT in short is basically a NoSQL database. So if I were to give a very simple example, uh, if I want to know how much I have spent over last five years, that information I can get it from a warehouse like BigQuery. If I basically wanted to uh, get some kind of a recommendation, if I wanted to basically see some kind of analytical information on a stock price, that comes from uh, cloud big table. So in a simple term, that is what I would say. So BigQuery and Bigtable. So when it comes to the latency part, right, in BigQuery, it is going to be usually in uh, minutes, few times, seconds to minutes. That's what I would say. So you will never ever get a response in BigQuery in milliseconds. So that's something which you need to keep in mind. So when it comes to basically a uh, cloud big table, right? So you can get easily a uh, very low read and write latency, something like as low as a single digit. So usually Google used to mention this in the Google Cloud Console in the beginning days, but now they have removed it. So six milliseconds is used for, is the one which you are going to get it. Uh, but again, conditions apply is what I am going to say because you have to follow some best practices, not just because you uh, provision a cloud big table, you are going to get Get six milliseconds to get six milliseconds one of the important criteria is you have to use an ssd disk right so there are some caveats which you need to keep in mind but at a high level definitely you can get a uh, single digit milliseconds of low latency uh, read and read, uh, write so this is going to be completely using sql so if you are a person who knows sql definitely you can directly get in and start working with bigquery because it's completely going to be ansys sql 2011 compatible whereas uh, Cloud Bigtable, it's going to be basically using the Edgebase API. So if you have worked on Edgebase API, working on CBT is going to be like a cakewalk. Uh, you can use client libraries, primarily Java is going to be a good choice, or you can use CBT utility, which Google has created, which is based on, uh, I guess it's a Go language. So because it's a BI tool coming to BigQuery, so you can easily connect to any BI uh, a tool it could be say for example uh, data studio now called as looker studio it could be looker pro it could be tableau it could be power bi uh, micro strategy name it you will be able to connect to that bi, um, BI engine so uh, that's something which i would say very easy out of the box uh, because it's sql supports sql but unfortunately when it comes to big table so forget about any other uh, bi tools even looker studio Right, because which is called as previously data studio which is from google they don't have a connector they don't have a connector to connect to cloud big table uh, so you have to write some kind of a custom application basically to do something of, out of it so if you don't want to write it one possible option is basically bigquery federation so bigquery basically allows you to connect to a uh, cloud big table table and you should be able to get it so it's it's going to act as a federation so now bigquery has already a connection so you should be able to visualize uh, cloud bigtable content via bigquery so that is something possible 
So historical information, as I mentioned in the beginning itself. So if I want to know how much I spent in the last five years, basically it is going to come from BigQuery. So big table is going to be really, really helpful when it is like uh, IoT use cases, uh, stock market, right? So if I want to know what's the stock price of Google uh, from 2015 to 2018, to do some kind of an analytics, right? This is going to be a good choice. So you are looking at this video um, in YouTube. So the next video would be possibly a recommendation on big query or big table. That is also coming from big table only. To be very frank, so uh, YouTube uses a good amount of uh, big table concepts. So when it comes to the the presence, right, it's going to be going to have BigQuery is going to you can create a data set in a region, which is what I would re usually recommend if it's a data engineer because uh, data should not leave the country. Those kind of stuffs compliance part or a dual region. So these are something good. Uh, or in some scenarios, you may want to have a multi-regional data set. So whereas CBT, it is completely a zonal resource. When you start provisioning it, you will be able to see it. It's a zonal resource. It's not that you cannot, uh, it's only restricted to zone, but you can create a n number of uh, replication clusters where the replication is going to happen automatically. And uh, you can have it in the same region for basically better uh, throughput. You can have it in multiple regions for having a better uh, high availability. So that is possible, but keep in mind the cost. Um, cost is going to increase substantially. So with respect to handling the volume, both can handle petabytes easily. So that should not be a problem. Uh, and BigQuery being serverless, you don't need to do any changes. But when it comes to basically CBT, uh, it can handle petabytes of data, but you have to increase the number of nodes. That's very important. One node can basically handle five terabytes if it's an SSD uh, uh, storage, if you are using. If you are using an HDD, basically you can handle 16 terabytes. You can do the math, how much you need for a 100 terabyte uh, uh, cluster. So, but uh, keep in mind, cost is going to increase like a rocket high. That's what a rocket sky high is what I'm going to say. So it's going to be expensive. Uh, whereas BigQuery may not be that expensive comparatively. So in BigQuery, every query you're going to run, it's going to be charged, right? So you have some new, you have some existing model like uh, basically flat rate that is going to go off in July is my understanding. You're going to get some new concepts called as edition, standard edition, enterprise edition, those kind of stuff. So you have a different uh, pricing model there. So Whereas CBT, you don't have anything of that concept because it's a completely a managed service. Uh, it's the entire infrastructure given to you. So they don't charge you like per query. So you can run query, you don't run query, you can run heavily. Google does not care, right? Because it's been allocated to you. So when it comes to the IAM, right, you can, this is a beautiful option, I would say, with BigQuery. So I can do it at a project level. I can give access to a pro at a project level so that every uh, data set under that project will, the person will get access or the service account will get access to. So you can give it at a particular data set. You can give it at a particular table, particular, uh, you can ro use uh, row level security. You can do also column level security using authorized uh, views and all. So that level of granularity, you can go. But whereas when it comes to uh, CBT, right, it is only at a project level at basically, uh, um, it's not data set, I guess it's a database, my mistake. Uh, uh, and it could be basically at a, a table level. Sorry, there was a typo there. So ignore that. So it is basically at a table level. That's it is what I would say. And the last one is really the, the most painful part with respect to BigQuery. So heavily constrained by quotas. So you can get n number of quota issues basically. So uh, when you are working with BigQuery, you will see the the real value or sometimes sometimes the real problem with BigQuery when you are working uh, in a real production systems uh, where you will see quota issues very much creeping. So you have to use some better strategies, all those kind of stuffs. So just to give you uh, some simple stuff, like they have some quotas, like how many times you can update a table. Um, so how many... Um, table with the different load options, copy options, those kind of constraints will be there. Heavy, heavy, good number of constraints are going to be there. Uh, to be very frank, understanding the quota itself good will take you a good amount of time. Whereas big table, nothing like that, nothing like that. It's not constrained by too many quotas. You will have a quota limit of how many nodes you can have in a project. That level of kind of very high level quotas is what you will see it. 
and the final piece which I would like to say is the price one folks. If I just close my eyes and say which one is better with respect to price, uh, BigQuery is what I will say. I'll get literally for zero dollars, uh, basically BigQuery, but I will not get something like uh, for zero dollars big table. So uh, it's an expensive product is what I would say. So that's the comparison which I wanted to do. So this was primarily based on my understanding, my working on big table and BigQuery kind of a stuff. So I uh, hope this helps you out. Uh, if there's any corrections or anything, please do let me know in the comment section. Happy to update it. So that's a video which I wanted to share after a long time. So hope it was helpful. Uh, thank you for watching.